Alright, how's it going? Today we're doing Downfall, the second mission of the Rifle Campaign, Solar Floor's Master, using Nice Stalker Hunter with Githarkin's Holberg, um, along with Forerunner, a Glaive, and the correct measure machine gun. Here are the mods. Um, this build is a bit odd, but uh, it's double special and you can use it to stun both types of champions in this, so I think it's pretty good. You get a lot of easy heavy drops along with Bricks from Beyond, making it so you never you never really run out of um, machine gun ammo if you play it right. And before we begin, I'd like to say we're really close to a thousand subscribers, and I'd really appreciate it if uh, I could get there pretty soon. It'd be really nice. So yeah, I can subscribe if you just want to support me, or if you find it helpful, or enjoyable, and want to see more. Anyway, so to begin with, we're going to use uh, class ability to activate Reaper. This will give us Devour as well as uh, Volatile Rounds once we get a weapon kill. I'm using the machine gun for shielded enemies and also mages, uh, and the magnum for just everything else really. Using the anti-barrier capabilities of Volatile Rounds to um, get through these Phalanx shields, which is really nice. As you can see, uh, thanks to my wall hacks, you can might be able to see that there are three enemies sort of stuck in the ground. Don't know why that happens, but uh, yeah, it does. You can see on my radar, there are a few things there, but they're never to be seen. Um, they are going to spawn behind me, so I do have to be careful of that. But for now, I'm going to push up. Yep, there's one of them. They sort of randomly teleport in and out. So I'm just going to use this, uh, this uh, ramp as cover and then just start taking out a lot of the things we've got. One barrier champion, one unstoppable champion, along with a major, uh, uh, yeah, a mini boss phalanx and a boss centurion. So I'm just going to take out the classes there. So I'm uh, going to try to get Devour back up. To take out the rest of these guys. Here comes the unstoppable now. I'm gonna stop him with the glaive and then just tear through him with the machine gun. Try to go invisible but I didn't have the dodge. And use the glaive shield to block so I can uh, safely stun him. But the centurion was uh, being a bit annoying so I'm gonna have to be a bit more careful. Using this right side to stay away from the line of sight of some enemies while being able to kill this champion. Now I'm going to use my super here on this boss. If you hit all of your shots, you will do most of his health. However, I missed the second volley, which has been annoying. So I'm going to take out this incendio. I'm now going to start taking out the shields using the Forerunner to do damage. Because it is pretty good if you can hit your crits. I'm going to do the same thing here. Then just switch to the glaive because I ran out. Can activate the duel, then pick up ammo. Try to summon my sparrow, but I realize it's blocked, that's the whole point of this. Now we're going to make our way into the Typhoon Imperator. Shadow Legion have the corridor locked down tight. Even
Even if we could fight through, they'd have enough time to secure the radio mast. So we're gonna jump down here, there are gonna be a few war beasts, including a major one. We can use Forerunner to kill the regular ones, and then Glaive to kill the major. That way, so I have a chance of getting extra heavy ammo. There we go, that's now we're full, that's great. We've got a Scorpius turret up on our left, where we have to go, so I'm just going to jump up on this bit. And two quick shots, and he's out. Now this is probably the hardest part right here, because you're in a sort of really confined space with a lot of powerful enemies. You want to get a grenade kill there, so you get invisibility as well as an orb, thanks to firepower. And then just try to take out as many things as possible, one at a time, slowly, and repositioning every time, so you don't stay in the line of fire to everyone. We also have a champion here, but he won't push up. So we're just going to stay here, use this sort of pillar as cover. As you can see, I'm taking a lot of damage. It's alright, we're then going to throw a grenade and start taking out the champion. And there he goes. Now we're just going to jump over here. Now we've got this section, we're going to go invisible to start off with again. And we're going to grab the orb thanks to the Reaper mod. And I'm just going to hide back here and let everything push up to me. We've got an unstoppable champion that will come up soon, so we just have to watch out for that. There he is. We also have a regular incendiary up there. He's not too hard. Just gonna finish this champion. Got some more enemies now, including a barrier champion. He won't push up there. Let's swap to the Magnum now that we're out. Break the shield and take him out. And just the sound which I managed to melee through a wall, apparently. That statue could have come right out of the Leviathan. Maybe he's still the same old callus deep down. Now we're kind of in a grav lift, I'm going to switch tabs. So I'm at 30 frames. Uh, this is important because at high frame rates apparently it can just screw you over. Which has happened to me a lot, so I'm just not gonna not gonna deal with that. We've got one Taken Siren up here, who can be quite annoying. Yeah. Okay, now I'm back at 60. Maybe it's 60, I don't know. I don't have a frame tracker. Now we're going to open this door. Doesn't matter what you use, because there's a rally flag right here. We're going to drop down, they'll spawn some enemies. I'm just going to take him out with the Magnum. Take out these two sons. 
Gonna stand on the plate for a little bit. I'll spawn some enemies. We're gonna jump off at some point before it ends. And there we go. Because when it finishes, more enemies will spawn and it's easier to deal with each wave one at a time well, for obvious reasons. Okay, so now once we're done with that, we're going to get back on the plate. And this will spawn two champions uh, and quite a few other things. So I'm just going to run to get an orb there with the bow. Run back. And then just start taking things out with the machine gun. A lot of mages so I can uh, use the machine gun to get extra ammo back. Now we've got the mage uh, and two um, champions. I'm going to try to take out the major quickly. And then use this uh, pillar as cover. I'm going to go for the one that's not shooting because it's not shooting. And then you're just going to get him down ever so quick, slowly, but still do it. Now I'm going to use this opportunity to reposition, wait for him. I can use the magnum to break his shields just so I can finish off. Oh no, just use the magnum. I have a lot of heavy on the ground, I don't know why I'm just using the magnum. Anyway, so now we're going to pick up the ball and drop it. That will spawn more enemies. And we're just going to use the, the machine gun to tear through them. So now we're going to grab the ball and put it in the hole. Now we've got a Tormentor coming. Uh, you can shoot his shoulders while he's dropping down, but there's a lot of damage fall off. This is, you'll do about half damage, so might as well not. Got some Taken Silence spawning as well. I'm going to throw a grenade at one of the lights to get invisibility going, so I can get some volatile rounds. Then going to get an orb and uh, kill the rest. Magnum works really well against Tormentors, um, as it's a very powerful precision weapon. Um, okay, that's his shoulders done. So now we're just going to start running for our lives. Fortunately, you can tell exactly where he is in the radar because of the diamond. Um, anyway, so we're just going to weaken him a bit more. Because another wave of ads is going to spawn. There they are. Gonna use this opportunity to tether to do a lot of damage and also disable him for the time that the tether's up. I just need to get him down into finishing range, then we can go in and finish him. Just gonna take out some silence while I wait. And he's in finishing range, so I'll just get him now. Easy. I still hate Tormentors there. Now we're just going to press on. We're going to do a little bit of jumping. Are you at the radial mast yet? No, but 
We're getting closer. I can sense it. Good, good. They haven't moved it yet. There's still some time. Focus on the path ahead of you, Guardian. Now we got another grab list, so I'm switching tabs. No, I've just got a couple of signs. Now we're just going to open this door. And this is another of the most annoying parts. Um, <clears throat> where we've got quite a few enemies, including a champion or two, and we're going to be using this sort of door frame to hide and kill them because their pathfinding doesn't extend out here, which means they're a bit confused as to where to go. You can see that <clears throat> case in point with the war beast that's right next to me. So now we've got an unstoppable incendio and a regular incendio up there. Gonna weaken the regular one and take him out with the magnum. Then I'm gonna move over to here to take out the incendio. Doesn't particularly matter what you use because once again there's a rally flag just after here. Open the door and now we've got a third graph left. But I don't know what we can do to help. If we can do anything. Are right. This grab list is a straight shot for the radial mast. We're almost there. You have overcome every obstacle so far, Guardian. Do not falter now. Now we just got to do a little bit more jumping. Just look at this place. All these shadow legions so and there's a whole army in here. We're into the Colosseum section. This bit isn't too difficult, it's just pretty slow. You've got uh, infinitely spawning enemies of certain types, including centurions in the middle, which are a bloody nuisance, but they're very manageable. Anyway, so we're going to stand here, we're going to take out this pack of uh, enemies before the unstoppable comes towards us. I didn't mean to finish them. But Anyway, so we're just going to take a look at Scion, then the Incendio now. We don't want to grab the attention of the Centurions in the middle, although, fortunately, that's already the case. We're just going to activate this plate. Now take out these guys. These war beasts also seem to spawn infinitely when you just stood up here after a certain time. Activating this uh, plate will also spawn that uh, barrier colossus there. And we're just gonna take him out quite easily. Now once we jump down we're going to get some Scions that spawn, as well as a Unstoppable Phalanx. 
these also seem to spawn infinitely uh, after yeah after a certain uh, amount of time so you do have to worry about those a little bit as you can see the centurions are respawning already so I'm just gonna jump a f bit further back so I can take them out from a distance as you can see blocking the axiom darts with the glaive shield works really well you can also, of course, just take them out with a shot from anything. Gonna just clear out some of these scions. You do really have to watch out for those Axion darts, because they will screw you over. Anyway, so now that that's done, we're not gonna dunk the ball yet. We're gonna do the. We're gonna spawn the other ball first. And to do that, we're gonna jump up. I threw my grenade there, which was the wrong thing to do. I meant to throw it at the scions. It's like when you have something in your hand you want to eat, and then something you want to throw in the bin, and you do the wrong thing. You, th you throw the food in the bin, and you're just like, oh, great. You know. Anyway. So I'm getting pounded a little bit hard, but it's alright. These gladiators, although they are very beefy, they are no match for the machine gun. So now once I jump down there's going to be some more Scions and a Phalanx Champion. As well as the Centurions which are pre-spawned so I'm going to panic a little bit but it's alright. just want to take it as much as possible. Oh yeah also a regular Incendio, not stop all Incendio sorry, will spawn once you activate a second plate. Funnily enough his name is Garask which is the name of a war beast in the Pleasure Gardens, um, which, and the war beasts in the Pleasure Gardens were named after um, a cabal. Like there was one that was Tark, which was the uh, the um, from the Strike and Destiny one. Alright, so now we're just going to dunk the balls. Each ball will spawn a an unstoppable phalanx and a major centurion, I think. If I can remember. Oh, and also a bunch of silence. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, we have the other signs. And we'll be spawned just because I'm up here. I'm running slightly low on machine gun ammo, so I'm just using my special weapons instead. Got a brick from beyond there, which is very nice. So 
some more will be spawned because I stayed up there for too long. And there's the Major Centurion and the Unstoppable Fangs behind him. Just gonna super him here because I need to deal with him quickly. So I can be ready for these two centurions here. I just have to do something there. Anyway. Second orb done, we've got the same thing that's going to happen. Jumping up here was a small mistake because I just got more warbies to kill. But it's not too much of a matter. Can kind of glaive snipe over to there. Time that perfectly. And now it says we're done, but we still have some war beasts because they are not required kills. But they still will kill you, so just watch out. Anyway, so now we're going to get our strand on. And start out by using the super to take out these guys in the middle. Now we're going to grapple our way to safety over here. Didn't even know you could get up that high. Anyway, so now I'm just going to clear out these silence with the machine gun. I've got my super back, but I don't want to use it right now. I forgot I don't have invisibility, which is a bit annoying. But I still do have volatile rounds which I'm going to use to completely mess up these guys. And now for these guys I'm just going to use my super. In a second, I'm going to kill all the other stuff first. I try to get a grapple punch off, but I fail because I have to do an uncharged melee to do that for whatever reason. Which is a bit annoying, but yeah, it's whatever. Anyway, so now I'm just going to use my super to clear out these guys really easily. And then use it to take out these guys as well. And that's the mission pretty much done. Now all we have to do is just hide. Is this all the 
This is going to take a nice pose for the thumbnail. Which I might not use, but well, we'll see if I can get a better shot. Anyway, so we hit the 30 minute mark, but that's not too much of a problem. Just have to wait a little bit more for Keitel to open the door for us. And we're just going to sparrow out. This bit isn't too hard, but you do have to actually follow a route. Um, I believe going in the blights gives you more stacks of pervading darkness, so don't do that. Um, you want to rock, sort of... You definitely want to go down by this tank here. Because it can't hurt you, but a lot of the stuff on top can. And... Then it's just a straight. Oh, do you, do you see that centurion? And we did it. I think I might not have gone platinum because there were three champions that spawned in the arena afterwards. Um, however, we have like a minute and a half to get out, so I, I just wasn't. It wasn't going to happen. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.